friends today we are going to talk about eia environment impact assessment it all started with united nation conference on human and environment at stockholm in 1972 it is also known as stockholm declaration the declaration had 24 points most of which were dealing with protection of environment wildlife and natural resources india was also a signatory to that stockholm declaration but it was only after the bhopal gas leak disaster in 1984 that india took the issue serious gandhi to the rostrum it is clear that the environmental crisis which is confronting the world will profoundly alter the future destiny of our planet under the environment protection act 1986 india notified its first eia norm in 1994 setting in place a legal framework for regulating activities that access utilize and negatively impact natural resources every developmental project has to go through the EIA process for obtaining prior environment clearance ever since the 1994 EIA notification was replaced with a modified draft in 2006 back to the present day scenario government of india is in process of modifying the draft and now the draft is open for public debate and discussion so if you have any inputs to the draft you can post it in the given address or you can email it to the address below now we will discuss what are the most important points of concern in the whole draft that we need to know and learn specifically if we are in northeast india the things become even more important one of the concern is de facto approval which basically means if a project is running somewhere in the country they can extend the project in size or dimension without prior approval by paying some penalty so that is a big issue in concern because if you want to think in terms of what is going to happen like if there is a oil field project which is a x area given to it and now it wants to increase the x area and include y to it now it just has to pay a penalty and without environment clearance they can go ahead with the project and they can later decide on the whole infrastructure growth so that can be a big problem concerning the environment number 2 public participation is the integral part of eia so a public needs to know why a project should not be implemented in his own area so to know the impact and the benefit of the project public is given 20 days to come up with a report or whatever discussion they want to continue but this is we believe a very small time frame to know everything about a project which is going to run for 8 to 10 years number 3 another important concern in the project is that a point says only the proponent or government can point out the violation in the project which means that a common people or a common person in certain project cannot point out mistakes or loopholes it can only be done by government or the proponent so that makes it even more dangerous where public participation is denied fourthly and the most important point for northeastern india that i believe is the stamp of strategic project so any project which is deemed to be strategic project there will be no public hearing or public cannot participate and certain point it is correct because the project which are dealing with security of the country they can take this uh, liberty but if any project without any fulfilling these norms if it is termed as strategic then it will be a problem so 
it has been said that the project dealing with border areas will fall under this category. So in definition border area says that any area within the 100 km of border is border area. And if we look into that, the whole of Northeast India can become a border area. And most of the project dealing in Northeast India will be stamped as a strategic project. Because Meghalaya and Tripura has border with Bangladesh. Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland has borders with Myanmar. Arunachal has border with China. Assam, a small part of Assam also will be under border area of Bhutan and all. So, if this is going to be a rule, this draft, then there would be a great amount of impact on the nature and natural resources if things are not followed and the points that are stated are accounted for. So, we have time till 11th of August and I believe every email counts. Please go ahead and show your emotion and write your emotion for your motherland into the email provided below. I am also providing a link of the draft below and some of the important points within the draft for you to see and then make your mind and write a letter. Every single letter counts. Thank you.